tell you exactly at the very beginning and where it started, right, right here in the hospital. Um, when I took my father in to have his chemotherapy and I was struck straight away by the team of nurses and doctors. They were superb in what is a really, really tough environment. And I remember thinking, there's so little you can do when somebody has cancer, except raise money. The people who work in these hospitals are amazing. They do amazing things every day. And we are here to help those people do the best job they can do by listening to their needs and how they think patients' lives could be made that little bit better. And that's our role. After my father was diagnosed with cancer, I wanted to raise money to support Nottingham Hospital's charity. I decided to do a solo walk from London to Edinburgh, and it turned out to be the hardest thing that I have ever done. I wanted to see where and how the money that people had donated was being used, and to meet some of the people that had benefited. The first place I visited was Hayward House, which provides care for people with life-limiting illnesses. I walked in thinking, I hope I am going to be able to cope with this environment. Uh, it was the most relaxed, inspiring, fun place to be. It's these people that come to see us, their lives are almost sometimes completely governed by hospital appointments, uh, scans coming into the hospital, so they're very familiar with hospitals, but actually to come to a place where they're going to be coming every week, it needs to be somewhere where they want to come. Almost for it to be a home as way from home as much as we can make it. What you see here now within Haywood would not be possible if it wasn't for the tremendously generous fundraising, um, donations, and everything. That's what makes Haywood special. That says it all. There was nothing bleak at all about that entire place, at all. It was the level of care as well. I mean, he was an, an inspiration too. Next on our visit was the Wilson Cystic Fibrosis Centre. This amazing building has received support from the charity to help create a better environment for patients whose lives are severely affected by debilitating lung infections. I met with Caroline, who, as a CF patient, has to spend long periods of time in hospital. I wanted to know what difference the centre had made to her. For me, th this unit, it's, it's changed my life. I mean, I, I, I just can't stress enough just how safe and secure I feel. Um, it just makes me just feel so valued and just so proud that I belong somewhere. It, it's just wonderful. I'm just, just so, so lucky. And I just feel that my, my health, it's just, well, I like to think it's getting better. Yes. Yeah. Well, you look amazing. Thank you. It's wonderful to see how great care combined with a fantastic environment yes. is having such a positive impact. And I know it's something my father benefited from in Nottingham. In the Children's Cancer and Neurosciences Ward, the charity has helped transform the space. They have created an environment that really is helping children and their families cope with having such a serious illness. So when you come onto the ward, the first thing you'd see probably is the new road we have that children have great fun driving along. You will see state-of-the-art media that allows children to have televisions at their own bedside. You'll feel a general brightness and lightness about the place. For many families, they have to spend upwards of a month at a time in the hospital, often caring for very unwell children. And having an environment that is uh, cheerful and looks good is actually hugely important in terms of their morale. I think we would have been lost without a setting like this. I think most of the children are having really awful treatment. They're getting really sick and I'm sure the environment, the facilities help enormously. They really do. Well, I think that the team here is amazing and it couldn't be a better place for a neuro complaint to come to than to this ward. The nurses, they're very good and no matter how old or young you are, it makes you feel happy. For me, what is particularly special about Nottingham Hospital's charity is that I was able to donate direct to the area that I felt most passionate about supporting. It mattered to me that the money I raised would go straight into research, which would look towards finding new treatments and approaches to care. Liz is a nurse with many years of experience in caring for older people. 
The charity has supported Liz in her research to create better models of care for patients with dementia. The, the charity have been really, really supportive. Um, they understand the needs of the patients and the, the need that we need to we need to fund research because we need to get new knowledge and new information about how we can make things better for patients with dementia. You know, the research that I'm doing it will shed light in areas that haven't been explored before. The charity also supports staff to undertake specialist training to help improve their skills which has a direct and lasting impact on the care that their patients receive. Helen is a midwife who has had support from the charity to continue with her training. So one of the, um, the things that I've done, I've done the um, RCN Leadership Programme, which the charity very kindly funds, um, and that is, is amazing. It, it truly has changed my life. It kind of gave me the building blocks that I needed to, to be a good leader, really. Without the charity, I wouldn't be where I am now and I just think everything that I do every day actually that programme's yes. helped to shape that. You must get such a sense of satisfaction at the end of the day. I mean the whole of today has been interesting because the money has gone into so many different areas but staffed and, and I will admit that staff development was one that I hadn't really thought about um, but it's vital. I'm so grateful of the opportunity to have actually to, to meet a donor to the charity um, you know we we apply to the charity and I'm always so mindful somebody's donated this money and I feel this responsibility to make sure that that money is well spent and I think actually having the opportunity to meet somebody like you is oh. is just invaluable and thank you so much Gosh, love it. it's so worth it it really is it makes it all worthwhile I am so glad that people like Helen are receiving the support of the charity because I know that when times are challenging it is their passion dedication and experience that makes all the difference to patients and their families. Just down the corridor is the neonatal unit that cares for newborn babies with health issues, particularly those born prematurely. In August 2007, Lucy was born 16 weeks early at 24 weeks. Lucy was born at, in theatre just up, up the corridor and I think they, they just grabbed Lucy and ran past and said, oh, you've got a baby girl and, and took her straight onto the unit. It's very strange, you know, you're looking into an incubator at this tiny, tiny little baby. And During our stay here, it, it was a very difficult time, but it, it was made a lot uh, more bearable by uh, the work of the, the hospital charities and the things they provided. Um, it's things like um, the family what, room, the family room, room, and the garden space, and, and probably the most important thing was the camera that they used to take pictures. You know, within you know a couple of hours, I got photos of her, which was lovely. You know, it, it means a massive amount to us now, looking back, that we've, mm. we've still got those photographs. John and Becky wanted to give something back to the hospital that has supported them and their daughter Lucy. So, like me, they became fundraisers for the charity. Donors are everything to us and every donor has a story and they have a reason for giving. So it's just a lovely circle of giving and receiving and re-gifting, which means better care. So it's, a, it's just a virtuous circle of donors, charity, hospital and care. I don't think there's anything that can express the words that we have to say what a big difference you make. You know, you may not think just by doing that run or by going for a coffee morning or doing a cake store or anything, it's not very much money to us and to our parents, to our families, it's the best. I feel so privileged, the fact that somebody has actually donated that money so we can carry on this work, so thank you. Thank you so much because no child and no parent wants to be in hospital but we actually have children now who say that they enjoy being in the ward here, they enjoy the facilities and they like being here and it makes them a happy place so thank you so much. From what I have seen today only illustrates the enormous good that the money has, has, has made in so many different areas. In many ways it makes me... <laughs> I always said to myself I would never do anything again, I don't think my foot will recover, but I actually do, I'm getting that feeling again, I think I'm going to drive away and think I maybe could do another walk. 